Hi, in this video I will expose the idolatry of Islam by proving the Quran deifies Muhammad by giving him the divine attribute of omnipresence, the attribute of being present everywhere. While addressing Muslim believers, the Quran chapter 49 verse 7 says, وَعْلَمُوا أَنَّ فِيكُمْ رَسُولَ اللَّهِ which means, and know that in you there is the messenger of Allah, meaning Muhammad. Now I'm sure you're noticing this English translation says among you instead of in you, and you're wondering why. Well, as you will see, it's because the Muslim translators are not being honest here. Despite the fact the same Arabic preposition fi is correctly translated as in, in the two other places it appears in this verse. Actually, if you check multiple English translations of the Qur'an, you will find this same dishonesty displayed. The Muslim translators are hiding the Qur'an's claim that Muhammad is in or inside the believers by translating it as among the believers. Well, it's time for me to expose the Muslim translators of the Qur'an by showing you what the Arabic text actually means. Allah does not say Muhammad is among you, but in you. But, as you just saw, the Arabic text of the Qur'an, chapter 49, verse 7, says fikum, which means in you. Fikum consists of the preposition fi, which means in, and kum is the second person masculine plural object pronoun, which means you or you all. Now I know some Muslims will point out, in Arabic, fi can have different meanings. My response is, yes, I agree. For example, it can be synonymous with the preposition min, meaning of. However, that does not change the fact that fi more properly or naturally means in or inside, as we see here again from Edward Lane's Arabic English lexicon, which proves my point. And if that is not convincing enough, I will show you what this influential Muslim leader Hisham Qabbani has to say about this. Take note, he's a native Arabic speaker originally from Lebanon. On one of his websites, after translating the fikum of Quran chapter 49 verse 7 as in you, he says, quote, Allah does not say among you. If he meant that, he would have said baynakum. Fikum and baynakum are farqun kabir, which means there's a big difference in meaning here. And Muslims cannot escape this damaging reality by claiming the Quran is only addressing the contemporary Muslims whom Muhammad lived among because... If you look closer at the Arabic grammar of this verse, you'll see a shift from the second person address, you, to the third person address, they, which shows this verse is also addressing all Muslim believers in every place and every time. Thus, the Qur'an is claiming Muhammad is inside all Muslims even today. What utter blasphemy! So, after examining the actual linguistic meaning of Qur'an chapter 49 verse 7, we see the correct translation is, in you all. Thus, the Qur'an turns Muhammad into a false god by claiming he is omnipresent. It's clear that this guy does not even know any Arabic. So, if you go, let's, why, for example, you didn't choose chapter 3 of the Qur'an verse 101, when it says, وَكَيْفَ تَكْفُرُونَ وَأَنْتُمْ تُتْلَى عَلَيْكُمْ آيَاتُ اللَّهِ وَفِيكُمْ رَسُولُهُ And how could you disbelieve while to you are being recited the verses of Allah and among you is his messenger. Here it says, among you is فِيكُمْ وَفِيكُمْ And if we go also to Surat and Nisa, uh, we, we, can, we can see, وَإِذَا كُنْتَ فِيهِمْ فَأَقَمْتَ لَهُمُ الصَّلَاةَ Right? And it says, it says it here in, in uh, Quran chapter 4 verse 102 And when you are among them, meaning when you are among them, O Muhammad And it's translated as وَإِذَا كُنْتَ فِيهِمْ فَأَقَمْتَ الصَّلَاةِ So that you may lead them in prayer Right, this is talking about the time of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi And we can also conclude also that the Quran doesn't always speak about, uh, you know, uh, uh, speak directly to us. It speaks also, narrates the story of the believers during the time of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. For example, 
when uh, in Quran chapter 3 verse 124 remember O Muhammad when you said to the believers now are these the believers of us or are these the believers at his time is it not sufficient for you that your Lord should reinforce you with 3,000 angels sent down now Asbab and Nuzul this took place during when during the battle of Badr right if taqulu al right to the believers is 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 the Prophet Muhammad saying to us or is he saying to the believers at his time also if we go the Quran doesn't only talk about uh, specifically to us but it also talks about the people during the time of Muhammad in chapter 9 of the Quran verse 25 laqad nasarakum Allah fi mawatin kathira is Allah saying that he made us victorious in many battles because we never took place in these battles this is talking about the time of the companions of Muhammad wa yawma hunayn and at the day of Hunayn, right? Allah has already given you victory in many regions and even on the day of Hunayn. So Allah is specifically talking that he gave victory to those who were with the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi at his time, not at, uh, not us. And on the day of Hunayn, when they were during the battle of Hunayn, we, we, we are believers in the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But this verse is not addressing us, it is addressing the believers in the time of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So you clearly don't know what you are even talking about. And if you even look in the hadith of Sahih Muslim, it says, فَيُقَالُ لَهُمْ هَلْ فِيكُمْ مَنْ رَأَى مَنْ صَحِبَ مَنْ صَحِبَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ And it means is there amongst you, is there one amongst you فِيكُمْ فِيكُمْ Not مِنْكُمْ فِيكُمْ Is there one amongst you who saw one of those who saw those who had the privilege of sitting in the company of Allah Messenger صلى الله عليه وسلم So you clearly don't know any Arabic and you don't know what you're talking about We have exposed this uh, Clear here. Wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.